Hello and welcome. My name is Marie Strauch. I am the educator with Your New School. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lipstick and a lip gloss using Color Lab Custom Blend Cosmetics and the lipstick system. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to make is a lipstick. So let's talk about our base that we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using the cream base. All of the lipstick bases come in these tiny jars and they can make two lipsticks. The cream base is an all natural plant wax made of all natural plant waxes. It has carnauba and candelia wax. It makes a creamy moist lipstick. You can either make this lipstick sheer or full body. Um, and it can hold 3.0 units of pigment. So today we are going to make a bronzy pink lipstick. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open your lipstick container, place it inside the cap, and then we're gonna microwave this for 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, depending on the strength of your microwave, to soften the wax. When you're microwaving your wax, you wanna put it on the outside edge of the microwave plate so that when it's in the microwave, it's circling completely around. If you place it in the center, you're not gonna get an even melt. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the microwave really quick. And while that is softening, tools that you're going to need, you're going to need your lipstick mold. I've already pre prepped the mold with lip release so that the lipstick slides out. You're going to need palette knives, scoops if you're going to be adding any frosts to your lipstick or lip glosses. You're going to need a blending sheet, which is a clear sheet that goes over your calibrator board, which you're going to need a calibrator board as well so that you can measure out your pigment. We are going to be using coral and white along with a few of our frosts and foils to create a beautiful shimmery lipstick. So let's grab our base. So we are going to scoop out the base and just place it onto our blending sheet. And then on our, using our blending sheet, we are going to dispense the pigments that we are going to use. So I'm going to do coral. I'm going to do one, I for sure want one full unit. So when you're squeezing your pigment, you want to hold it about a half inch above the circle and you want to squeeze continuously until that circle fills. So we're going to do one unit of coral. Maybe a little more. We'll do 1.25. We'll add 0.25 of white. Base to the pigment, and then we'll start adding our frosts. Make this frosty. Now the frosts will change the color, so I am going to be using copper, pink, gold, sand, bronze, maybe a little bit of crystal, and those colors are definitely going to darken this and make it a little more bronzy and not so hot pink. Um, let's do small scoops of each of those. So let's do a small scoop of copper. I'm just going to grab a paper towel. Bronze. 
Lions. And a small scoop of crystal. Now, when you're adding powders to your lipsticks, the powders do dry out the wax a bit. So you do need to supplement your lipstick. Otherwise, it, it will get really dry and cakey and will break and crumble. So I am gonna add moisture additive to put that back into this wax so that my lipstick doesn't get too dried out and too crumbly of a mess. See, it's already kind of making it really dry. Mix all these powders in. I'm also going to add a silkening modifier. That's going to help to give the lipstick more of a nice glide to it. that thoroughly. We're going to add two milliliters of our moisture additive. So one full dropper is one milliliter. We're going to do two droppers. I'll do about six drops of my silkening modifier just to give it a little more slip. Now you can also scent any of the lipsticks or lip glosses. You can flavor them as well. We have flavors and essence, so we might flavor this one. It's kind of a berry color and I think I have raspberry truffle, so I might flavor this with raspberry truffle. So now we're going to scoop this back into its original container and we are going to melt this in the microwave so that it becomes liquid so that we can then pour it into our mold. When you are returning this into its original container, you want to try to get as much of the base into the center of the container so that you get a nice even melt. Anything that is sticking to the side of the container is not going to melt evenly. So you want to do your best to get it all in the center of that cup. Scrape as much of this as we can. We're going to scrape it into the center of the cup. Try to get as much of that off of the edge it towards the center. And then we're going to or melt this in the microwave. You want to do like 20 to 30 second intervals until it completely is liquefied. And then we'll add our flavor to it. So when you're putting this back in the microwave, you're just going to replace it right back on top of that cap. And again, we're going to put it on the very edge of the microwave plate and set our timer for 30 second intervals.
And then while that is melting, I will show you how to make a lip gloss. So my favorite thing about lip gloss is that you can apply or place your pigment and your powders directly into your lipstick or lip gloss base. You can use pigments, you can use just frosts. Today we're just gonna do some frosts. So I'm going to make a really shimmery lip gloss. We're gonna do four tiny scoops of our crystal. using the frosts that are sitting in front of me. We're going to do one, two, maybe we'll do some of that pink gold to get a little more pinkiness to it. One tiny, and maybe, should we do bronze? We'll do a little bronze. Let's check on that lipstick really quickly. I'm going to give that a mix and see how it looks. So when I'm mixing powders, you want to be gentle and I kind of just give the spatula a twist as I'm mixing so that the powder doesn't go everywhere. I'm going to check on lipstick again. And we are liquefied, so let's grab some flavor. I'm going to do three drops of raspberry truffle. Two, three. Give this a good stir to mix in that flavor. And then we are going to pour it into our mold. So when you're pouring into your mold, you want to pour until it overfills. Now this makes two lipsticks. I'm just going to make one. So I'm going to cap this and I can always just melt this down again if I want to make another lipstick. And then we'll continue to mix our lip gloss. I'm going to actually flavor this one with pink champagne. So again, I'm going to do three drops. You can do up to six drops. Um, I find that three is more than enough. It's pretty strong. So flavors are really going to flavor your product, your lipstick or your lip gloss. So when you lick your lips, you will taste it whereas Essence is just going to give it a scent. Okay, just gonna give that a good stir. And now we do need to microwave and melt this as well. Now this needs to sit for five, min five to seven minutes so that it can solidify before we can put it into our lipstick mold. So I'm gonna set a timer. And then I'm going to put this on its tray. And we're going to put this in the microwave and microwave that again, 30 second intervals until it liquefies. And then we'll pour that into our lip gloss too. So 
So here's our empty lip stick tube. So you want to make sure that you turn it all the way up when it's ready. And then our lip gloss tube. We also have squeeze tubes. I'm going to put it in the wand. Um, these all come separate. So I like to just put the wand, the plunger or stopper onto the wand. When you pour, you're going to stop just below the silver line. That's going to give enough room for the stopper and for airflow. Check on our lip gloss. on the lipstick and wait on our lip gloss and then we'll package and then after it's been packaged it is going to be warm to the touch you want to advise your guests that you're making your lipstick or lip gloss for to allow it to cool before they apply it we're going to do another 30 seconds And then we have small labels. You can label your, your lipstick. I like to put the date so that they know when the product was made. Otherwise you can, they can create their own name for the color and write down the name. And then we have record cards that you would keep track of your formula on when they, when they run out and they want it again, they can come back to you and have their custom blend lipstick made for lip gloss. All right, we're gonna give that a quick stir. And then we'll pour it into the lipstick or the gloss mold. And again, you will pour very gently, steady hand, until you get just below that silver line. I like to wipe the edge with a towel and then I like to wipe the inside with the tube or the sponge applicator and then I just put that on and then when you open it the rubber stopper is inside the tube it's nice and clean and then we'll label and put a label at the bottom and there you have your lip gloss. Let's see what this color looks like. We're gonna just do a little swipe right out of the container. And that is such a beautiful sheer champagne. How oh, that is beautiful. It's like a mauvey champagne. Super, super pale pink. With a little shimmer to it, a bronzy pink. subtle shimmer to it. It's super creamy. We've got about eight seconds left and then I can show you how to package your lipstick. All right, so with your bent palette knife, you want to scrape excess off the top of, throw that back into its original container. Again, we'll melt that down later if we want to make another lipstick, if we liked the color. And then we are going to open the very top. So your lipstick mold comes in two parts. You have a top and a bottom. So you're going to open the top and 
very gently. You're going to remove the top without breaking your lipstick, because I've done that. You're going to make sure that your lipstick tube is completely open in the up position. You're going to place it directly on top and you're going to gently push down until you touch your bottom of your base and then you will slide your lipstick out. There you have it. You've made your client a custom blend lipstick color, especially for them. So now we have our lipstick and our lip gloss. Remember, both of these are like this. You can physically feel it's warm to the touch. This is still soft, even though it's been just over five minutes, we still want it to uh, firm up there and make sure that they wait a little bit before they use it, let it cool off completely. And there you have it. So we have our custom blend lipstick along with our custom blend lip gloss. So for more information on Color Lab Cosmetics, be sure to contact your new school. Thank you so much.